Warning, the following images are not suitable for terrorists. Tension, suspense, and sheer horror. These are all things that sends chills down our spines and makes us want to turn off the game's console. But what happens when it's not the enemies that you fear, but rather the place that you're in? Well here I'm opening up the horror series with part 1, True Reviews Top 10 Most Messed Up Video Game Locations. Number 10 Innsmouth Directly inspired by the popular Lovecraft work of fiction Shadow over Innsmouth, the 2005 game Call of Cthulhu is set in the remote fishing village of Innsmouth in the United States. And whilst the horror is slow to get going in this game, Innsmouth itself is more than enough of a substitute to any enemy that will make you go running. Combined with a dank and gloomy atmosphere, strange pagan symbols of protection scattered about the place, a horrific and chilling disease that is slowly claiming the townsfolk, and not to mention, the underground religious and apocalyptic cult are all things that will get under your skin and make you feel as uncomfortable as possible and wishing that you could leave the town in a flash. Number 9 Fairport What started off as a small entrepreneurial incident in the first Fear game would later escalate into a full blown messed up situation by the time Fear 3 came out. If an army of replica soldiers wasn't bad enough, then prepare to deal with a dead psychic commander who is also a cannibal, following you around like bad B.O., ghostly apparitions charging at you, another dead person who wants to consume you and give birth to a ghost baby, and to top it all off, nuclear contractions that are so powerful that they'll actually tear the fabrics of the physical world apart. All of these goings on, coupled with disturbingly quiet moments, followed through with a random nuclear explosion going on the next block, is enough to put you on edge. Number 8 The Von Braun Who would have thought that an interstellar military career could turn into such a nightmare? Well with the second instalment in the System Shock franchise, we got just that and more. With everyone on board this huge military vessel that's now floating around in an uncharted part of space, dead or undead, and with everything imaginable trying to have you killed, including your one and only ally, it's hard not to get freaked out by the state of things in this game. The Von Braun has no safe zones to offer, and you'll be constantly on guard, ready to fight against any enemy that want you dead, or ready to fight against the ship itself if need be. Very few horror locations can claim the honour of being a danger to the player itself, but the Von Braun can proudly claim that title. Number 7 Raccoon City With the whole of a city now completely dysfunctional, and all of its employees now infected with the T-Virus, Raccoon City proudly takes a place at number 7 on this list. With nowhere to run and hide, and with the possibility of there being a zombie, or worse, hiding around the corner, there are no safe moments to be found whilst braving the streets of one of the most infamous locations in video game history. But we're here for the locations, not the enemies, so let's put the zombies aside for a minute and focus on the city. And whilst the city itself isn't particularly dreadful, the countless abandoned streets and shops, the ditched cars and lack of power will constantly remind you that the worst has happened to this city and you are all alone. If that's not messed up, then stay tuned for number 6. Number 6 The Lost Village Well with Raccoon City, the undead are still killable, by which I mean you can still put them down by using conventional weapons, but in the second Project Zero instalment, putting down the undead isn't quite that easy. With the zombies being replaced with the tortured souls of an entire village that have been wiped out by an evil force over a sacrificial ritual gone wrong, and with your weapons being replaced with an old camera, it's a great way of subtly giving the player the hint that you're not going to find this game easy. These spirits can come from anywhere, including through the walls or up from the ground, 
and in one case the ceiling, but the village itself reflects its trapped inhabitants. The spirits are being eternally tortured, and this bleak fate is clearly evident during confrontations. However, the village itself is just as bad. With almost no colour in sight, a disturbingly constant fog surrounded by darkness, and the knowledge that somewhere in this village is the gateway to hell, will have you wanting to put down the controller. Number 5 Rapture A city that deserves such a name. The city of Rapture is located at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, and because of this, you know that there's pretty much no way of escaping such a place. But if all the traps, splices and big daddies aren't enough to get you wanting to change your underwear, then the city itself will give you that extra push over the edge. With the city itself as the main cause for why the inhabitants are the way they are, Rapture will invite you in and then destroy your confidence in one fell swoop. The countless 1950s American style adverts for genetic weaponry, a large number of pre-recorded audio messages from past residents of Rapture that tell of their chilling tales of the discovery of the genetic material known as Adam, as well as the outbreak of the Civil War, and finally, the random pipe bursts and water leaks strongly gives you the impression that the whole city is about to come down on your head. Literally. And with no way out in sight, will force the player to either press on and deal with it, or force the player to take up the fetal position in the corner of the room. Number 4 Shale Bridge Cradle so all the way through the Thief franchise, you're running around having a laugh. <laughs> oh my god, I'm having so much fun, look at me! And POW! What the f*** is going on in this place? All the way up until this point in the Thief franchise, Garrett has had to deal with a lot of crap, but the paranormal is technically not on that list. But Iron Storm thought it'd be best for everyone if Garrett now had to hide from the tormented spirits at the former residence of the twisted insane asylum of Shale Bridge. Being in the asylum was like something out of Silent Hill, Except this was actually scary, and not just a load of enemies going boo every so often. Like with some more successful horror games, though this is technically not actually a horror game, what gets most of us in the cradle is the possibility of coming face to face with one of the twisted souls that are forever damned to wander the hallways looking for someone to kill. The possibility is always there every time you step around a corner, and you better be ready to run if you see one. But the venue itself is so freaky and messed up, Almost instantly upon arrival, Gareth starts to hear screams of children and begins to see different ghostly apparitions. With the place falling apart, lights constantly going on and off, and then throw in with the occasional piece of furniture being chucked across the room, you think that the place itself is pretty twisted. But then you get the backstory in which you find out that, while the asylum was indeed trying to cure those who had lost their minds, the way in which they experimented on these souls is no wonder why they are still grounded in the physical world and during your time at the cradle, you begin to witness some of these experiments. Finally, you find out that the place has claimed you, and now you can't leave until you manage to trick it, by which I mean, kill yourself. This facility is bad enough without its residents, and it is definitely one messed up location. Number 3 Hell Well, this one's quite self-explanatory, but what the heck. During the gameplay of Doom 3, you're bombarded with demons spawning from hell who are either trying to kill you or possess you. But as the game goes on, you start hearing reports of people crossing over to their plane, and some of the reports that come back are quite disturbing, even for a video game. Not for the faint-hearted, the game builds up this horrific image of what hell is like, and it's finally at this point that it dawns on the player that at some point, we'll have to enter hell as well. Well, what can be said about hell? Well, it's not like being in a park now is it? Many religions have described hell as being the most horrific, miserable and morally crushing plane of existence that could be conceived of. Think of your worst nightmare, now multiply that by infinity and now put yourself in it for the rest of time. It's not a nice thought and with that in mind, here we have Doom 3's hell. The darkness, the rivers of lava, the countless souls that are thrown into the forever damning pits of madness, and the constant and never-ending screams of agony will follow you around during your tour of the Prince of Darkness's bachelor pad. And whilst you know that your character is still alive at this point, the question does arise in all of us. If I were to die in here, then would I be damned to hell? Thankfully, I've never had that question answered. Number 2 Castle Brennenberg. Yeah, all of you hardcore gamers out there, or anyone who's into buying discount games off of Steam, knows what I'm talking about here. 
Possibly the best survival horror game to have ever been released, the 2010 game entitled Amnesia The Dark Descent is still having an effect on me even to this day. But with everyone's personal reservations towards this game aside, it was brilliantly done and a fantastic game for one main reason. The atmosphere in this game is second to none, and this is mostly thanks to the setting, the dark, creepy and somehow alive Prussian castle of Castle Brandenburg. In a desperate mission to find out what's going on and to save himself, Daniel, the player, must delve deeper into the castle, overcoming puzzles and escaping from horrific monsters in the process. Now whilst this game is scary for many possible reasons, the setting itself is just too damn creepy. Over the decades, video games have overdone the creepy mansion setting, and I suppose that Amnesia has done it as well, but I have to say one thing here. It works. The fact that the castle is old and in disrepair gives us the sense that the evil presence that is following us is very old and has allowed to manifest and develop over the countless centuries. With the castle itself trying to break your sanity by conveniently blowing out candles when you need them lit, a large layout to make you forget where you've already been and to throw away your sense of direction, and not to mention the torture chambers at the lower sections of the castle, uh, but just a few aspects of why this game will make you sleep with the lights on. The castle itself has the potential of breaking you without the need for the gatherers, and with that in mind, Castle Brandenburg comes in at number two, which means... Number one. Alkali. Whilst I'll admit that I didn't find this game particularly scary, it could have been had there been no teammates with you at all. I will say, however, that Alkali is without a doubt the most messed up place in any video game that I've ever been to. The fictional town set in Clive Barker's Jericho dates back to the beginning of Civilization on Earth. After the creation, God decided that his first project at Intelligent Life was a failure in the form of the Firstborn, and so God decided to abandon it, along with a large percentage of humanity looking for spiritual guidance. <laughs> After being sealed in the abyss and angered by God's rejection, the Firstborn turned evil and began to consume some of the lands located in the Middle East surrounding a settlement called al -Khali. But each time the Firstborn tried to re-enter the mortal plane, seven chosen warriors would force him back into his domain, but not before the Firstborn has taken yet another piece of the world back under his control. As the Jericho team, you must enter the town and fight your way through all the different time zones until you reach the Firstborn. But with each new time era reached, the area gets more and more messed up. From the blood-soaked battlefields of the Second World War, to the dark and boding fortresses of the Middle Ages, then to the unforgiving and mentally unnerving Roman structures. The trapped souls of those who have perished here are watching you through their own eternal torture, doomed to suffer in the most agonizing manner for all time, for the price they paid to have the firstborn sealed in the abyss for as long as possible. The sights and sounds in this town are like none other that I've ever encountered, and to this day, I can still see the damned in my mind, being tortured in what seems to be worse than hell including some of the most bone-chilling sights that you'll ever see, and the countless lakes of blood that you'll be falling over every few seconds, Alkali goes down as my personal number one most messed up location in any video game. Congratulations Clive Barker, you'll be receiving your prize through the post soon. And that's the end of that one, but if you'd also like to receive a prize through the post, then head on over to the True Review website or at the discussion pages at True Review on Facebook. Stay tuned next time for part 2, we will be picking up the horror theme once more in True Review's most scariest games of all time. But until then, take care bitches! It's a big world out there son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? Oh, let's get it on! Get it on the floor,